Yo, what's up, everybody? It's Roy Jet here, and I've made it a personal vision of mine to play through every single Mega Man game here on this channel. And so far, I've played through the first four OG Mega Man games on the channel. And while it has been a, uh, a few months, oh my God. we are back, and it's time to continue the list with Mega Man 5. Let's talk about it, shall we? As it implies, Mega Man 5 is the fifth game in the series, taking place two months after the events of Mega Man 4. While speaking to Kalinka, the daughter of Dr. Cossack, about Cossack's new robot, Mega Man gets a call from Dr. Light that Proto Man has gone wild and has begun attacking the city with a group of robots, and immediately rushes back home and makes it just in time to see a figure that looks like Proto Man kidnap Dr. Light, leaving behind his signature yellow scarf, leading Mega Man on his next mission to retrieve the doctor and stop the robots from destroying the city. The robot masters you encounter throughout the game are Gravity Man, Wave Man, Stone Man, Gyro Man, Star Man, Charge Man, Napalm Man, and Crystal Man. And there isn't much to say about these guys and their stages as it feels very big they're done that. <laughs> However, there are some cool stage gimmicks that are some that seem like cool precursors to things that will show up in the Mega Man X games as that game was developed around the same time as this game. Such as the section of Wave Man stage where you ride through the water and dodge enemies and hazards. It's kinda cool. Or how Gravity Man stage will flip between having you travel on the ceiling and floor with its gravity switching gimmick. It's all really cool to see and see how it could, these ideas could later be incorporated in later games. Another thing this game added was Beat, the robot Dr. Cossack was working on, and you unlock this little bird by collecting the hidden letters in the various stages to spell out Mega Man 5. And this little bird is a stone cold killing machine. He is very helpful, and he will attack the enemies, and in the case of certain bosses like Dark Man 4, he's borderline necessary, he's the primary weakness. Now, you can beat them without him, though it's much easier with him around. Speaking of Dark Man 4, though, when confronting Proto Man in his hideout, you are backed up into a corner, where the real Proto Man appears, and revealed that Proto Man, the one you've been chasing throughout the entire game, is actually a fake, and is in fact Dark Man 4, a robot created by Dr. Wily to pose as Proto Man and effectively frame him for numerous crimes as revenge for his betrayal in Mega Man 4, where he freed Kalinka from being held captive. Proto Man then leaves as you face Dark Man 4, and upon his defeat, Wily shows up and challenges Mega Man to come and retrieve Dr. Light, which leads to another Wily castle. Floors 1 and 2 are basically just restyled versions of previous stages with boss fights against Big Pets and Circling Q9 respectively. Both are very shitty names, especially fucking Big Pets, but we're not gonna talk about that. Floor 3 is basically just a boss rush stage that can pretty much be summed up as... Him, 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 her, him, him, bodies, 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 bodies! They're all dead. Followed by a boss fight against the Wily Cannon. Then, of course, the final stage is just the, the boss fight against Dr. Wily and the Wily Press, followed by Round 2, round two in the Wily Capsule. Upon his defeat, Wily runs away and Mega Man gives chase and finds Dr. Light, who he frees but not long after, Wily Castle begins to collapse and Mega Man barely manages to hold it up. However, before it fully collapses, Proto Man saves them from being crushed by the building, allowing them to escape and upon their escape, the collapsible castle, the game ends and credits roll. <laughs> One cool thing is that during the credits, you see who designed the different robot masters. The robot masters in this game as well as the fourth game were done via Mega Man Boss Character Contest. The Japanese contest held by Capcom where fans sent in designs for boss characters to appear in the Mega Man franchise. And this went on from Mega Man 2 to Star Force 3. And one of the robot masters for this game, Crystal Man, was designed by Yusuke Murata. Yes, that Yusuke Murata. He even made Dust Man in Mega Man 4 too, which is pretty cool, but other than that, there's nothing else to really say about this game. It's not bad, but everything about it feels very been there, done that. The gameplay, the look, the feel, even the music. If you've played 1 through 4, especially 4, everything in Mega Man f about Mega Man 5 just feels like something you've played before in this series, resulting in the game feeling more of a rehash of 4 than a proper progression of the style. Yes, 4 felt way easier than 3, however it felt different enough to stand away from 3 regardless of it being easier, but everything about 5 just feels like 4 with a new coat of paint, resulting the entire time I spent with Mega Man 5 just feeling boring. Hey, thanks for watching. I know it's been a while since I did a Mega Man video, and frankly, I'm just glad to finally be done with this. The next one probably won't be for a while, but I do hope it doesn't take almost another year. <laughs> I know I said Tactical was this week, but it still isn't done, so here's hoping that come next week, the Tactical video will finally be finished, and I can just speedrun Sonic games throughout the remaining few weeks of the year, and then come the start- OW! Then come the start of the year, I could do the start of the shows as well, as well as some other things I want to do. I've got a lot of plans for next year that I can't wait to show you guys. So here's hoping we can end this year with a bang and start next year with some flair, baby. <clears throat>
Anyways, I'm gonna stop wasting time now. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And if you didn't, you can remember that I suck with the YouTuber and the VTuber. Comment section down below. Peace out and enjoy yourself. Wondering just the longest death from birth. I just like a burning piece of curse. All the life of thoughts in my mind, man. I need a purse. Southside choppers, with the ride. Keep me off the edge till the